Hi, everyone. So we are here with San Francisco Cryptocurrency Devs. I'm sitting with Clemens Lay, the CTO of yours, former CTO of yours, yep. or current? No, former. Former CTO of yours, um, and now the CEO of BitcoinToken.com. I got that right? Yep, perfect. Okay, perfect. Yep, all right. So thank you uh, again for coming. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a great talk. I think we had a great discussion afterwards as well. Um, to start, I just want to get a sense of, you know, how did you even get into the crypto blockchain space to begin with? Yeah, so I've, I've been in Bitcoin, you know, quite a long time. And, um, you know, start, started a company there. Eventually, I sort of got more closely involved, you know, once I became CTO of yours. Um, that was like three years ago. And, but I, I had like, you know, experience as an entrepreneur in Bitcoin before. So I've, I've been here for a long time. Cool. Um, all right. So today you basically gave a talk on a Bitcoin token standard, right? So one that you're creating. Um, just explain to us, like, why is that even important? Why is this relevant? And, and why today? Yeah. So, well, very good question, because like Bitcoin token standards get released every single day. So today we had like, you know, mine and another one. So it seems to be like a very popular thing to do right now. Mm -hmm. And so th I think the reason that this is happening is that people are starting to realize that Bitcoin can be used for more than just, you know, sending payments. And, and so these, these, you know, tokens are arguably the, the killer application for Ethereum. So if we can get like, you know, a good token implementation on, on Bitcoin to work, that, you know, would, would, you know, mean a lot in terms of getting Bitcoin closer to Ethereum in terms of like being used as a programming language and not just as a, as a you know, money system. Right. And then when you talk about Bitcoin as a programming language, can you just talk about like what you think some of the differences are, um, some of the limitations of a Bitcoin programming language versus what we have on Ethereum right now? Yeah, I don't think there are limitations. I think everything that can be done in Ethereum can be done in, in Bitcoin as well. It's going to be, you know, different. It's going to work different. It's going to feel different sometimes. But um, I think that all smart contracts that can be done in Ethereum can be done in Bitcoin. And sort of part of my mission and the mission of, you know, BitcoinToken.com is to figure out how that works, right? So how can we actually use Bitcoin as like an easy to use programming language to, to implement smart contracts? And, you know, probably soon we'll be able to do everything that Ethereum can do. Cool. All right. Let's see. Um, so, in one of your previous talks, actually, you talked about um, you know having a uh, essentially a Turing complete system, right, uh, based on the Bitcoin protocol. Um, is that something that you see being really important and, and relevant in the work that you're doing now? Um, I, I think it is important, um, sort of this, this, this previous talk I did where I kind of showed how to simulate a Turing machine, um, just sort of the, the, my goal was just to demonstrate that people should think bigger when, when they're thinking about Bitcoin, that you can actually do lots of things that people are impossible. And if people just, just start working on these questions, you know, they will figure it out, out as well. So, yeah. All right. And then... What would you say like you're most excited um, about in the space? You know, besides just the work that you're doing, like are there other projects that um, you've been excited about, or other people um, that are doing interesting things? Yeah, it's a, it's a broad question. Lots of <laughs> lots of exciting stuff happens yeah. all the time. I, for one, actually try to just focus on on my work, and I'm not not the best person who's up to date with every single you know project that, that's happening all the time. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so, and this, this is not the best question to answer, but there, there are so many smart people in Bitcoin, like, and, or generally in blockchain, I mean, you know, Vitalik is very smart, and, you know, Joseph Poon, as soon as I start naming names, everybody else will be insulted. <laughs> but there's, there's, you know, yeah. spades of very, very smart people in Bitcoin, and, and the, the quality of the discussion in Bitcoin has certainly changed a lot since I entered. Okay, so, sure. so in, the, in the early days of Bitcoin, it was very driven by, you know, young, not so well-educated people, and now, like, you know, with the rising price and, you know, Bitcoin companies getting lots of funding, they're starting to pull in really sort of high quality talent into Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. And I think this is actually a trend that, that's going to continue over, over the next years. We're going to get like much, much smarter people working on Bitcoin. And this will, will help us, not just Bitcoin, Ethereum and any crypto system. Right. And, and sort of being, being sort of this magnet for talent will help us make progress much, much faster. Great. Yeah. Um, and then you also mentioned that you're involved in some open source projects. Um, can you talk a little bit more about that and, you know, who, you're, who would be a, a good person to get involved with things like that, um, who you're looking for to help, um, 
and and basically, you know, just what those projects are and, and how some members maybe of our group can, can be of help to you. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm launching, you know, one open source project, which is, uh, is it's called Bitcoin Cash Flow. And sort of the, the idea is to, to create sort of a high quality JavaScript Bitcoin implementation. So like was mentioned in the talk, Bitcoin exists and it's a very high quality JavaScript implementation, but it's, it's quite different from, from you know, other JavaScript, uh, other just Bitcoin implementations. Okay. So, so just the, the structure of Bitcore is much more similar. Bitcore is really just sort of taking sort of the you know, C++ implementation of Bitcoin translated to JavaScript. So the structure is very similar, which is actually good because people are familiar with you know, the C++ implementation and understand the, the JavaScript implementation very easily. Right. And, but we, we currently don't have a, a sort of a JavaScript Bitcoin implementation you know, that, that's, that's current, you know, that, that, that's like similar to, to the existing ones, but just really sort of, you know, very cleanly programmed. And by cleanly programmed, I mean, you know, it, you know, it uses modern JavaScript, you know, Bitcore is, is used prototypal, you know, inheritance, and, um, and you know, and like sort of adheres to just modern coding standards. Yeah. That'd be great. And then sort of the end goal of Bitcoin cash flow is that's why it's called flow, is to have, you know, JavaScript Bitcoin implementation that's statically type checked by flow. And I think that would really sort of help sort of, the, you know, improve the reliability of Bitcoin. And I'm sure we will find bugs just this way. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so in, your, in your talk uh, today, you basically talked about, you know, creating these Bitcoin tokens using JavaScript. So why JavaScript? Why not some other programming language? Um, you know, we know that, that JavaScript is kind of notorious for being too flexible, right? Um, and introducing a lot of issues because of that. So why not go with something else? Yeah, so I, in, in, in general, like JavaScript. And so the reason is, you know, there's faster programming languages and then, then there's, you know, you know, more, you know, less corner cases, just more, much more secure programming languages. But JavaScript has one very important distinguishing factor is that it runs in a web browser. Okay, and it's the only language that really runs well in, in the web browser right now. And so, so it's, it's, it's sort of this difference in, in quality that just makes it much, much more useful and, and universal. Right. And so, so my code is, is sort of the, the reference clients will be implemented in, in JavaScript with the goal of, of being able to run in a web browser. Because it's just, um, first of all, I just like sort of the openness of web technologies as yeah. opposed to like some, some app store. Um, and, and also in terms of user experience, like web-based application have a big advantage that nobody has to download an application. They just go to a website. Mm -hmm. And so, so for, for these reasons, I, I love JavaScript and that's why I'm implementing everything in JavaScript and then it just you know, fits into my implementation well that people write their smart contracts in, uh, in JavaScript. Right. That being said, you know, the, to you know, the, the Bitcoin, Bitcoin token standard you know, it's not written yet, but when it will be written, it will not mention JavaScript, okay? It will just say, you know, you can implement this in any programming language you like, mm -hmm. and whichever programming language you choose to implement the Bitcoin token standard in, you're gonna ask sort of your users to provide the smart contracts in this language. So people can re-implement the whole thing in whatever language that they want, and then sort of also sort of use whatever language they want as a smart contract language. Got it, yeah. cool. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, where can people find out more about what you're doing and, and potentially get in contact with you? Yeah, well, so my website is now at bitcointoken.com. My email address is, you know, clemens at bitcointoken.com. So, you know, please get in touch. I'm looking for, you know, people to contribute to my open source project and just get engaged. I'm also looking for my first customers. If you want to, like, launch your token on, on top of my platform. Um, first of all, I think you should because currently you have the choice of doing it on Ethereum or you can you know, use a Bitcoin-based token standard, okay? Um, my token standard works on Bitcoin Cash, which is 100 times cheaper than, than Ethereum. So if, you, if you're now starting to, to build an application on top of Ethereum, you know that one day someone will build like a very similar competitor to yours on top of Bitcoin Cash at 100 times lower price, okay? And it's very hard. You can be as good as you like. It's going to be impossible to compete with 100 times lower price. So I highly recommend you know, building smart contracts on top of Bitcoin Cash. And, you know, of course, I think they should use my solution because my, my solution is, you know, just much more general than everything that's out there. And also, I've just been working on this project for four months. So if you start working with me now, sort of you'll, you'll be able to integrate like all the, you know, cool new stuff that I plan to launch over the next years, you know, you'll, you'll all be able to use. So I highly recommend people to get in touch. If you want to planning a token sale, you know, that's supposed to happen sometime early next year, I highly recommend email me at clements.bitcointoken.com. We'll try to help you as good as we can, and we'll, we'll do something together. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye.